How's it going? David Crandall here with another FL Studio tutorial. First of all, I kind of want to apologize for not doing more of these as frequently as I had said I would, but I've been busy with a recording project, and uh, in my spare time, I really haven't had a whole lot of spare time to do these. Um, but I have a little bit of time. I'm going to try and answer a few of your guys' questions. I know I've answered some through messages and comments, but um, I haven't really done too many tutorial requests. So this request comes from Rapper787. It's really not even a request. He just kind of asked a question, and I'm going to answer it with a tutorial. Um, he says, sometimes when you use a sound in FL Studio in the piano roll, and you change the length of the sound by stretching out the note, it doesn't work. The length of the sound just stays the same. Is there any way to fix that? I would really appreciate it if you could help me. Well, yes, there is a fix, but the, but it, this fix only works with MP3s and WAV files. Um, and to do this, you have to use FL Studio's newer version of Edison. This came with my free upgrade from FL Studio 7 to FL Studio 9, so if you're using an older version than FL Studio 9, I suggest you register your FL Studio version with ImageLine and get the free upgrade. Um, actually, it's 40 bucks, 30 or 40 bucks, I think, I don't remember. It's a very low price, but you get a lifetime of free upgrades, so go out and do that if you're using an older version. Okay. So let's go ahead and we're going to work with a WAV file that's already in FL Studio's library that doesn't have any loop points. Um, let's say... Let's say a guitar sound. We really want it to ring out longer than it can. Uh, let's go ahead and drag that onto our sampler here. Click this to open up the properties. And we'll see the little waveform down here. What we do is right click and say edit and uh, Edison will automatically pop up. So what we're going to do is we're going to select a short region where the volume is fairly unchanged. I mean it's, it's a guitar so it starts from loud and just decreases in volume so there's no real consistent volume but we want to get as close as possible. So we'll just left click and highlight um, and adjust our, our perimeters here. Uh, this, this is probably going to be our best shot right here. Then right click it, go to tools and then say tune loop or hit control L. Now see what it's doing? Now we can, you know, adjust the length. Make it nice and short. Adjust tension. And we'll say accept. Okay, that was kind of annoying, so excuse me for that. Now, once we do that, hit control A to select the entire waveform. Right click go back to tools and say send to selected channel so now it is here in our little sampler guy so now we can close Edison what we want to do next is we want to go to our channel properties here and click use loop points now we can see down here in the waveform it's changed and it's only selecting our loop points right here so now when we go to our piano roll and we hit a note and we stretch it out it's going to just play as if it's just one long note. Check it out. Booyah! That's it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know how, how to end that. Um, but uh, I hope that helps. Uh, again, special thanks to rapper blah. Special thanks to rapper seven eighty seven to uh, sending this issue along to me to offer up a fix of sorts. Um, I hope this helps you with your next FL Studio project, and you know, 
teaches you a few new tricks. If you have any tips for me, or if you have any ideas for a tutorial or any questions, please pass them by me. I will be making more of these. Um, but until next time, this has been another one of my FL Studio tutorials. Take it easy.